Chris Pratt is one of the most likable and successful people in the entertainment industry, which is probably one of the reasons that the fringe weirdos on Twitter, the people with pronouns in their bios, with anonymous Stan accounts, the reason that those people likely hate him so much. And Chris Pratt, in a new interview with Men's Health, is being pretty open about a lot of the backlash he's received, including where he supposedly goes to church, including the things that were said online about him and his family. And he's pushing back at some of the abuse from these losers that he's received over the past few years. How Chris Pratt became the people's Chris. And of course, that's a little bit referencing that thing that was going around that went viral a year or two ago when people were saying who the worst Chris was of all the different Chris's in the Marvel Universe. And of course, people took the opportunity to take very vicious shots at Chris Pratt because of his faith, because of his supposed politics. And so many of his Avengers co-stars stood up and spoke out and supported Chris Pratt. Despite the fact that a lot of them may disagree with him politically, potentially, they still stood up for him. But right here was an interesting thing as well. Chris Pratt reveals he never went to Hillsong Church, said he did not avoided denying the claims because he didn't want to throw a church under the bus. Now, this is the, the church that he's always been connected to by people like uh, the artist formerly known as Ellen Page, now Elliot Page is what they go by. Uh, but back before they were Elliot Page, they appeared on a show, a, a late night show, and basically bashed Chris Pratt and said, you went to this homophobic church, this disgusting backwards place because you're a bigot. And that spread like wildfire. Well, now Chris Pratt is clearing that up as well as delving in to how he felt when he put out an Instagram post thanking his wife and the mother of his daughter and the way he was attacked for it. And shockingly enough, when I scroll through the replies to this, you're going to see those same disgusting people. Chris Pratt says he cried over backlash for healthy daughter post, which was seen as insensitive because his son with Ferris suffered health issues. That's fucked up. My son's going to read that one day. He's nine and it's etched in digital stone. It really fucking bothered me, dude. I was like, I hate that these blessings in my life are to the people close to me a real burden. And I want to even tackle that first because they do cover this in the Bounding in the Comics article. Let's go here. Harkening back to his November 2021 Instagram post where he gave thanks for and celebrated his wife, Pratt explained, I said something like, find someone who looks at you in the way my wife looks at me. Then I gave her some shit in the thing and said, but I love you. I'm so thankful for my wife. She gave me a beautiful, healthy daughter. Then a bunch of articles came out and said, that's so cringeworthy. I can't believe Chris Pratt would thank her for a healthy daughter when his first child was born premature. That's such a dig at his ex-wife. And then the quote that we just talked about from Chris Pratt and how deeply that affected him. And there's nothing wrong with what Chris Pratt said. He's talking specifically about his wife, not Anna Ferris, right? His wife. It's an appreciation post for the wife he has now, mentioning the daughter that they have together. Of course, he's not going to mention in the post specifically about his wife. He's probably not going to talk about his other son, which he spends a ton of time with on social media, a ton of things about his son and how close they are and how much he loves him. It's disgusting what these people do, but look at these replies, man. Look at this stuff. So maybe you shouldn't have said that. Why he act like he didn't write that statement? We do not care. He posted that himself. If he really loved his son, he would have not said that. Next, then he shouldn't have said it. Uh, There's like one post defending it right there. Every parent knows you can't brag about one child and not the other. He's over. He never should have posted that type of wording knowing his son has complications. Sounds like that person he should be angry at is himself. Over and over again. These people are freaks. These people are disgusting fucking losers in all honesty. But he also clarified about this church. After years of being hounded for his supposed attendance of the Hillsong Church, much of which was rooted in the opposition to the institution's holding of traditional Christian thought on gay lifestyles and gay marriage, heaven forbid, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and Jurassic World star Chris Pratt has revealed while he never had any personal relation to the church, he declined to speak out to avoid throwing a church under the bus. Pratt offered Claret and his fate during a recent interview with Men's Health. And really, this MTV, this 2018 MTV Music Awards, when he mentioned uh, God loves you, God is real, God wants the best for you, believe that I do, that's really when a lot of these attacks started. 
And interestingly enough, Chris Pratt even says, you know, I think people think I'm way more religious than I am. He says, I believe that God is real. I worship God. I, he's, you know, I, I believe in him. That's what I believe. That's my faith. But when it comes to like religion and specifically, it can be oppressive as fuck. That's what Chris Pratt says in this article. I think there's a distinction between being religious, adhering to the customs created by man, offering, appropriating the awe reserved for who I believe is the very real God, and using it to control people, take money for people, abuse, steal, and justify hatred, whatever it is. I bet there's a lot of people that aren't going to be happy, but there's a lot of very religious people who aren't going to be happy, but I think a lot of people do understand what Chris Pratt is saying. He's been very vocal about his faith, his belief in God, his belief that God loves everyone. But at the same time, I think a lot of people have had experiences where maybe they went to a church where they didn't feel like it was quite right for them or the, the right way for them to worship or show their faith. Continuing on the topic, uh, it went to the claims of the actors Hillsong church attendance. I never went to Hillsong. I've never actually been to Hillsong. I don't know anyone from that church. I'm gonna like throw a church under the bus, basically saying why he didn't clarify. And he did say that he and his family non-exclusively attend the Zoe Church. Not super familiar with that. Though not strictly related to religion, Pratt took a moment during his time with Rapkin to express frustration at the internet's insistence on painting him as a secret villain. That gets into what we talked about before. But, you know, Chris Pratt clarifying some things, speaking very openly about all these attacks that he's subject to simply for being somebody who says, I believe in God. I believe that God loves everyone because that's one of the worst things you could possibly say in current day Hollywood, especially when there's speculation that maybe you're not a massive leftist, then you know these people are going to continue coming after him hard. But Chris Pratt remains one of the most likable people in the entertainment industry, and I don't think that'll change anytime soon. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.